Hi there, I'm Bruce Kirsch, founder and principal of Real Estate Financial Modeling. We're going to talk today briefly about our Principles of Commercial Real Estate Finance class, which has received some terrific praise from students for both the course and for our teaching style and method. This is a great course for basically anybody, folks who are new to commercial real estate, those who are in the business or in the residential business and want to learn more, and folks who have studied these concepts before and or are in the business and just want a refresher or a more formal treatment of these concepts. The basics of the course, it is Monday and Wednesday evenings, 6 to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So for folks in other time zones, you just need to do the math to make sure that the start times work for you. There is some work that you will need to complete prior to the class, which we provide to you on video, and you can get through that pretty quickly. There are two optional graded homework assignments, which we'll talk about. And during the course, we cover all of the major property types in pretty good detail, other than hotel. We do talk about hotel a little bit, but we don't actually do financial analysis on the hotel. The format is that we have assigned readings every week from the textbook and articles, and we have some terrific multimedia content as well, videos and audio interviews. The classes themselves are primarily composed of lecture, traditional lecture, but it's totally interactive. The questions are encouraged. It's a great time to clear up some things that you might be a little foggy on or to go a little bit deeper on something that you don't know much about. I love it to be interactive, so the more questions, the better. And we do rely on Microsoft Excel a lot because this is typically the tool that will be leveraged in commercial real estate analysis. So we encourage you to really dig in and get the hands-on exercises that we provide and to try hard on the homework assignments to get the full benefit of those as well, which are based around analysis in Microsoft Excel. When you register for the course, you will get access to the course page, which we house on our blog. And this is a password protected page, which has for every class a layout of those readings that you are recommended to do prior to the class and links to the Excel files and to the slides and to the articles on the blog and elsewhere and to the audio interviews. So this is an example of for one particular class session how all that information would be displayed. The textbook is that by the Wharton School's Emeritus Professor Peter Linneman. This is a terrific textbook. I'm actually one of the editors of the book. I've read it in depth cover to cover probably half a dozen times. I love teaching from this textbook. Across the 11 modules, we have over 250 slides. I taught this course as adjunct faculty in Georgetown's master's program, and my materials, they're terrific. We also provide, which is rare, Excel spreadsheet supplements to the textbook. Before I taught this course for the very first time, I went through the book and I literally recreated in Excel, line by line, all of the major figures in the textbook. And so I provide those to you as supplements so that you can actually see all of the line items and how they interact with one another and the formulas. And that's something that you get to keep naturally and is a terrific resource going forward as well. We also weave into the course these phenomenal interviews with Professor Lineman. We just completed this series last month and edited it down into 48 different interviews all of which I tie to the individual lessons of each class. And these interviews are just chock full of wisdom that comes from Professor Lineman. He's seen a lot, and he shares a lot of his experiences and wisdom in these interviews, which are all curated and tied to that week's reading. So these are terrific resources that bring color to the textbook, bring it to life, and help you to better grasp these concepts that are being discussed in the text itself.
Our first homework assignment is a case study that we wrote. It's a condominium building development analysis. It's called the upzoning decision. And included with this case study itself is a unlocked Excel model for condominium development analysis. And this is very similar to the tool that we sell through our website for condominium development. And so this is a great value and something that you can naturally repurpose for your own analyses over and over and over again. And you'll become good at manipulating it and using it if you do engage in homework number one, which I encourage you to do, and which we offer to grade and give you feedback on. The second homework deals with analyzing the acquisition of a multi-tenant building, whether it's retail or commercial or industrial, and we basically teach you how the brains of Argus work. And Argus is a platform that is often used to analyze the acquisition and sale of multi-tenant assets, such as office buildings and retail centers. And so we teach you about how this works, and then we give you some examples of line items that you would need to build in and manipulate to get the answers to certain questions. In terms of what you should expect, this is not easy stuff, but it's not supposed to be easy, okay? Otherwise, everybody would be a real estate finance expert. The good news is this textbook that we are using is incredibly insightful. It's written in plain English. It's approachable. It's digestible. You don't feel like you're reading a textbook. You feel like you're reading a magazine article that happens to be talking about real estate concepts. It's very, very digestible, and that's saying a lot for a, a graduate level textbook. Additionally, I'll make myself available to help you. We'll be taking questions during the classes, in between the classes. I'll post all the questions to the course page so that everybody can benefit from the Q&A. You'll have permanent access to that course page going forward. The goals of the course are to really either lay a theoretical and technical foundation if you don't yet have it, or to reinforce that foundation, to refresh your memory on certain things. Additionally, we want to make you a more critical thinker with respect to the business of real estate. This is not just about adding numbers and figuring out what the answer is. This is about being a business person who thinks like a business person that just happens to be involved in the business of real estate. So it's going to make you be a better business person by thinking about things in a qualitative manner, by assessing opportunities and risks in a quantitative manner, and weaving those two things together. And by picking up this knowledge and these new skills, it's going to make you a stronger job candidate, make you better equipped to go out and accomplish your goals in the real estate business. My background, I have a bachelor's in communication from Stanford University, after which I worked in the mutual fund business, and I studied real estate for my master's at Wharton, after which I worked at C.B. Richard Ellis in their Midtown Manhattan Investment Sales Group, and then I worked for a couple developers, one in D.C., one based in New York, which was a fiduciary of Prudential Real Estate Investors. I did some of my own investing, and then I founded REFM in 2009. Since 2009, I was on the adjunct faculty at Georgetown and taught real estate finance several times, and I also was fortunate enough to be an editor of this current third edition of the Lineman textbook. Just walk you through briefly the various modules, module one through three, you will be doing on your own. These are all recorded, and these are actually on the website for anybody to do. We have the Excel and the slides and the video all there. It's all free on the sign-up page for the course. And so this introductory set of modules, we talk about risks and opportunities, what is real estate, international real estate, basics of time value of money, discounted cash flow, or DCF analysis. We address the real estate cycles, and also the fundamentals of commercial leases. So that's all in the pre-work for the course that you will be doing on your own. Starting with Module 4, these are the lectures that we will be doing together. We'll look at property level pro forma analysis in detail, financial modeling, and then key performance metrics such as internal rate of return, net present value, and amortization. And incidentally, we will cover the entire textbook. There's a lot in there. and so. Everything naturally is what you make of it, and so the harder you work, the more that you're going to be able to pull out of this. Module 5, 
due diligence and capitalization rates. Module 6, development pro forma and feasibility analysis. 7, debt financing. Should you borrow? If so, how much? What type of debt? Module 8, look at bankruptcy and how that's evolved over time and then discuss the CMBS market, how it came to be, how it's grown, how it crashed, and how it's now coming back. And there's some terrific supplemental articles and videos related to that module. In Module 9, we'll discuss ground leases and then exit strategies. Module 10, look at things at the company level, talk about the real estate private equity business, and look at things from the investor's perspective. This is a terrific article from the Harvard Business Publishing Library on structuring real estate deals from an investor's perspective. It's six dollars to buy and it's probably over the course of your lifetime worth more like six million dollars. And then lastly in Module 11 we'll look at REITs and liquid real estate, corporate real estate, and touch upon ethics and real estate entrepreneurship. So that's the full set of modules. We're offering a free retake in the future. Anytime the course is offered in the future, we're basically going to be offering it every five, six weeks. You can join that class, uh, that entire course. You can retake the entire course. In addition, we will offer, as we said, permanent access to the course page. And so when you purchase this registration, you're not just getting a one-time benefit. Really, you're getting an ongoing benefit to all of the materials that we've put together. It's a phenomenal value and we're offering today a 15% off discount and so the coupon code is shown here in red and you can do the course this one time and an additional time all for under $550. So it's a phenomenal value. The textbook is not included in the course registration so you do need to purchase that separately from Lineman Associates. And so I encourage you, if you are interested in the course, to get signed up today and do put in that order for the textbook so that you can get it shipped to you and you have enough time to do the pre-work. We'd like you to register right now. Again, here's our coupon code for 15% off of the registration. There's 11 lectures, 250 slides. Three of the lectures are recorded, eight are live. There's Excel supplements. We have the two homeworks. They're optional, but you get out what you put in. You will also get this reusable unlocked Excel condominium template, which itself is a $250 value. The 48 audio interviews, an opportunity to retake the course one more time, and then the permanent course page access. You can sign up for the course right at getrefm.com under the training page. Don't forget to enter the coupon code, though, as you're going through the checkout process. There will be a box for the coupon redemption code and make sure you enter in 0313PCREF, PCREF standing for Principles of Commercial Real Estate Finance. Again, encourage you to get signed up today so that you can take advantage of the discount and also get access to the course page. Once you sign up, I'll give you immediate access to the course page and you can start to look through the readings and listen to the audio interviews. I hope that you folks join. Feel free to email me with any questions you might have. Happy to answer things offline. And thanks again. And we don't see you this time around. Hope to see you in the future. And best of luck to everybody.